Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Last time, the feat of mental endurance that is the quarterfinal round of this competition finally came to an end, leaving only the four best teams still in contention. Next time, we'll see Magdalen College Cambridge play Balliol College Oxford for a place in the final. But tonight's match is the first of the semi-finals, and it's between Imperial College London and the University of Warwick. Now, the team from Imperial are representing the reigning University Challenge Series champions. This year, the team's journey has already seen them play in six matches with victories in four of them. Their two defeats were at the hands of Strathclyde University in round one and in the quarterfinals by the team they're facing again tonight. With an average age of 20, let's meet the Imperial team again. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm from Hong Kong and I study maths. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm from the Peak District and I study physics. Their captain. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm from North London and I study pure maths. Hi, I'm Imran. I'm from Patalang Jaya, Malaysia, and I study theoretical physics. Now, the team from the University of Warwick have played four matches to get here and were victorious on each occasion. Doubtless, they're hoping to repeat the outcome of their first encounter with Imperial as fervently as Imperial hope to overturn it with an average age of 22. Let's meet the Warwick team again. Hi, I'm Richard Pollard. I'm from Cheshire and I'm studying history and politics. Hello, I'm George Braid. I'm originally from Brighton and I was doing a PhD in physics. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Andrew Rao. I'm from Beersted in Kent and I'm studying for a PhD in maths. Hello, I'm Owen Burrell. I'm from Lancaster and I'm studying for a master's in English literature. Well, you all know the rules by now, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. Noted for collections including The Triumph of Achilles in 1985 and The Wild Iris in 1992, which US poet and academic won the 2020... Imperial Khan. Louise Gluck. Louise Gluck is correct. Well done. Very nice. Nobel Prize in Literature. You get these bonuses on Latin phrases. According to Suetonius, Augustus Caesar would advise commanders against rash action with the Greek words... Spude bradios, similar to what two-word Latin phrase? Bradios is like slow, right? So festina lente, maybe? OK. Festina lente. Festina lente nice. is correct. Written for strings and harp, festina lente is a 1986 work by which composer, the creator of the Tintinabuli style of composition? Arvo Pat. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Arvo Pat. Arvo Pat is correct. Which of Marlowe's tragic heroes quotes Ovid when he pleads, O lente, lente, curiti noctis equi, meaning run slowly, horses of the night, in the moments before the play's denouement? OK, this is giving me very strong Dr Faustus vibes. Go for okay. it. Dr Faustus. Dr Faustus is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The 18th century writer Charlotte Lennox stated that which of Shakespeare's plays was tortured into a comedy she wrote that he was obliged to introduce absurd intrigue and improbable incidents in order to bring about three or four weddings instead of one good beheading. Imperial Con. Oh, uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream? No. I'm afraid you lose five points. The play in question is set in Vienna. Ah. Uh, Warwick Rout. Measure for Measure. Measure for Measure is correct. <laughs> three questions on a mathematician and philosopher for your bonuses. Which English academic gives his name to a theory described as the study of unavoidable regularity in large structures? He died in 1930 at the age of 26. Um, I have no idea. Um, no, I don't have anything. No, nothing. Whitehead. No, it's Ramsey. In 1922, before the age of 20, Ramsey had, with C.K. Ogden, published the first English translation of which philosopher's Tractatus? Um, yeah, it would be more spent in the sense than Wittgenstein. Spinoza? No, it's Wittgenstein. <laughs> Ramsey was a proponent of the redundancy or deflationary theory of what concept? The term in question appears between language and logic in the title of a work by A.J. Eyre. Truth, isn't it? OK. Truth. Truth is correct. Ten points for this. 
In bacterial messenger RNA, the Schein-Delgano sequence is located about eight base pairs upstream of the start codon and is a signal for the binding of which macromolecule, thus initiating translation and protein synthesis? The answer is ribosome. Ten points for this. Which King of Scots gained possession of Orkney and Shetland as a consequence of his marriage to Margaret of Denmark? He was among four kings with the same regnal name who died violently, his father having been killed... Imperial Wong! James? No, I'm afraid you lose five points. His father having been killed by an exploding cannon while his son died at the Battle of Flodden. Warwick Bray. James III. James III is what I was looking for, yes. Right, you get a set of bonuses on names or titles. In each case, the last word of the first answer gives the first word of the second. For example, Hey Jude and Jude the Obscure. So in each case, give two answers from the descriptions. Firstly, a tragedy by Shakespeare set during the Trojan War and the first female commissioner of the Metropolitan Police. So, Troilus and Cressida and Cressida Dick. Yes. Troilus and Cressida and Cressida Dick. Correct. Secondly, the only history play by Shakespeare to be set during the 13th century and the leader of the British Labour Party between 1992 and 1994. It's, uh, King John and something? King John and John Smith, I think. OK, King John and, uh, King John and John Smith. Correct. And finally, a Shakespeare comedy also known as What You Will and a 1968 horror film by George A. Romero that features reanimating corpses. I don't know either of these. No. Are we just passing? Uh, maybe, yeah. Anything? Nice Pass. One. That's Twelfth Night and Night of the Living Dead. Right, we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a description in French taken from the La Russe Encyclopedia for ten points Give the English name of the art movement described. Imperial Marrow. Impressionism. Impressionism is correct, yes. <laughs> so we follow on from Impressionism with picture bonuses being descriptions from LaRousse of three more art movements, all of which can be said to have originated in France. Again, I want the one word English name of each. Firstly, Automatism is the principal force. But the one with auto... Oh, surrealism. Feels like I call it Yeah. That. Surrealism? Surrealism is correct. Yes. Secondly... Uh, exaltation. Pure Something colour. abstract -y. Rejecting perspective and values of classical the art. The lighter naturalism of Impressionist. What came after Impressionist? So it could be pointillist or just post-Impressionist. Mm. Mm. It's one word for. Okay, so pointillism? No, it's fauvism. Uh -huh. And finally. Want a um, tableau picture. What's the last word? Something abstract, like you dislocate from the visible world. Um, Recompose. Cubism, I don't know. Let's try cubism. I mean, Brock was cub cubism. Cubism is correct, yes, well done. <laughs> Another starter question. What precise three-word phrase appears in St Paul's letters in the King James Bible and is, in modern usage, mostly used in the negative, meaning to have little patience with those one thinks are stupid? Warwick Braid. Suffer no falls. No. It's to suffer fools gladly. Ten points for this. In 1936, which photographer took a series of photos of a 32-year-old woman named Florence... Imperial Con. Dorothea Lange. Dorothea Lange is correct, yes. <laughs> right, you get three bonuses on France. Which river appears along with Maine and Andre Loire. in the names yeah. of two departments? Loire. Whose capital... Loire is correct. Nice. Which river appears along with the Loire in the name of the département whose capital is the wine trading centre of Macon, north of Lyon? Uh, north of Lyon, so... I don't even know where we are. Name of the département, right? Wait, but we, it's another river. It's a, it's a river. I, I can't think. The Rhône. No, it's the Saône. Oh. Which river follows Lot and Tarn in the names of two départements whose capitals are Agen and Montauban? Respectively. Do we know where in France this is? Try Seine or Yeah. Seine. No, it's the Garonne. Ten oh. points for this. 
Formed by a confluence near Kumbach in Bavaria, which river flows westwards through Würzburg, joining the Rhine at the capital of Rhineland Palatinate? Imperial Wong. Moselle? No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Its name appears in that of Germany's largest financial centre. Warwick Bray. Mine. Mine is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on irritating plants. Its name derived from the Japanese for lacquer. What compound is responsible for the allergic reaction induced by plants such as poison ivy and poison oak? Do we know? No, we don't. Um, I have nothing past... Urushiol is the answer. From the Greek for hair, what term denotes the needle-like appendages in plants such as nettles that inject irritant substances? I should know what this is, but I don't... Um, yeah, like, maybe like, Scylla or something? Probably. Yeah, that's yeah. possible. That's Scylla. That's trichomes. And finally, the invasive plant known as ragweed belongs to which genus of the daisy family? It shares its name with the food of the gods in Greek mythology. Ambrosia. Yeah, right. yeah. Not neck. Yeah, Ambrosia is the food. Ambrosia is correct. <laughs> right, you go back into the lead then. Another ten points at stake for this. What specifically is the subject of the 2019 work of non-fiction by Cecilia Watson? The subtitle claiming that it can improve your writing, enrich your reading and even change your life, having described it as a misunderstood punctuation mark. Warwick Rouch. The Oxford comma. No. Anyone want to buzz from Imperial? Imperial Marrow. The semicolon. The semicolon is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on filmmaking. A movement therein. From 1995, the directors Lars von Trier and Thomas Winterberg pioneered what movement that aimed to purify filmmaking and promote narrative? Its first film was... Festen or the celebration in 1998. Okay, I don't do quite have? remember. It's like. Give me something vague. We can try and go to It's not neo expressionism, is it? It's something. Yeah, just by neo expressionism. Neo expressionism? No, it's Dogby. Which 1999 film by Harmony Corrine was the first US made Dogby film? Starring Ewan Bremer as the young man with schizophrenia, its title includes the name of an animal. Oh, man, let's get three new I, I knew... The only film I know is Spring Breakers, but it's not that. Um... OK, pass. It's Julian Donkey Boy. And finally, a group of travellers are stranded in the Namibian desert in the 2000 Dogme film The King is Alive. It takes as a theme which tragedy by Shakespeare? The King is Alive. King is alive. So... King, King Lear. Lear. King Lear. Strand. Not make that. No. King Lear? King Lear is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Appearing in one formulation of the Schrodinger equation, which mathematical operator may be defined as the sum... Warwick Rout, the Hamiltonian. Hamiltonian operator is correct. Well done. <laughs> that puts you on level pegging again. And their bonuses on Kepler's laws of planetary motion. In his 1609 book Astronomia Nova, Kepler published his first two laws based on data collected by which scientist born in what was then part of Denmark? Brahe, presumably. Yeah. Brahe. Correct. Kepler's second law states that orbiting bodies sweep out equal areas in equal times. It describes a conservation law for what physical quantity? Angular momentum. Yeah. Angular momentum. Angular momentum is correct. According to Kepler's third law, the semi-major axis of a body's orbit is proportional to the orbital period raised to what fractional power? 3 over 2, right? Not 2 over 3. Yeah. I think it's 3 over 2. 3 over 2. No, it's 2 over 3, 2 thirds. Right, we're going to take a music starter now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of jazz. Ten points if you can tell me the name of the band leader and the soloist performing. Imperial Con. Uh, Miles Davis and Dave Brubeck. All we needed was Miles Davis, we got them. <laughs> OK. <laughs> you just heard an excerpt there from Footprints from the album Miles Smiles, which features Ron Carter on bass, the most recorded jazz bassist in history. Your bonuses are excerpts from three more of Carter's many performances. Firstly, I want the band leader and writer of this piece here soloing with the rhythm section. 
be honest. Yeah. Piano is so deep. I don't know. Rose is a pianist. Mm, uh, do you get into my view? It might be Dave Brubeck. No, go with Dave Brubeck. No, it's Herbie Hancock. Oh. Secondly, the band leader and writer here, again soloing with the rhythm section and Hancock on piano. What instrument? So this is a saxophone. Could be John Coltrane. Go with your guy. John Coltrane? No, it's Wayne Shorter. And finally, I want the singer on this soul hit. West was singer. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, my gut says Ella Fitzgerald, but something's telling me it's no, wrong. Is Nigel Jones like that? No, I don't, I'm no. Not. Ella Fitzgerald. No, it isn't Ella Fitzgerald, it's Roberta Flack. Ten points for this. What event of the early 20th century links all of the following literary works? The Red and Green by Iris Murdoch, The Plough and the Stars by Sean O'Casey. Ah. Warwick Burrell. Uh, the Easter Rising. The Easter Rising of 1916 is correct. Well done. You get three questions on eponymous lines on maps. First drawn up in 1865, Goida's line defined an approximate boundary for arable land within which country? Further north, it was deemed too arid to grow crops reliably. Name a country where it's South Africa, maybe. If it's north, it's too arid. OK, uh, South Africa? No, it's Australia. That also makes sense. Dating from an agreement of 1893, the 1,600-mile-long Durham line closely matches the current southern border of which Asian country? Um, oh, God. Give me an Asian country with maybe Mongolia or something. Yeah, that's possible. Mongolia? That's Afghanistan. Oh. Surveyed in the 1760s to resolve a boundary dispute, the Mason-Dixon line forms part of the borders of West Virginia and three other current U.S. states. Please name two of them. Um, Maryland and Virginia, I think. Okay. Maryland and Virginia? No, the other ones, apart from Maryland, are Pennsylvania and Delaware. Right, ten points for this. On a certain planet which has no atmosphere, the surface gravitational field is such that an object starting at rest falls five metres in the first second after it's dropped. How many metres does it fall in the second second? Imperial Roman. Ten. No. Warwick Route. Fifteen. Fifteen is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three questions on football clubs in Bulgaria. Cherno More and Spartak are football clubs in which major city on the Black Sea coast? Varna, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Nominate Pollard. Varna. Varna is correct. Well Give the name of the small city to the northwest of Varna that is home to the club that won the Bulgarian top flight every season from 2012 to 2019. Unless you know the geography, I don't know the football. Um, well, I don't really know either. Um, Only other city. Constanta, maybe. Plov oh, that, that, oh, I was going to say Plovdiv. Oh, that's... OK, Plovdiv. No, it's Razgrad. Botev and Lokomotiv are leading clubs in which inland city, the second largest of Bulgaria? It's not Plovdiv. Is it? Is Plovdiv that large? I um, don't know. I don't know. It's... Plovdiv? It is Plovdiv, yes. <laughs> well done. Ten points for this. Which two-letter combination appears at the end of words meaning a North African horned antelope, a semi-precious stone with bands of colour, a small ah, bone at the Warwick base... Warwick Burrell. YX. YX is correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses this time are on crystallography. In about 1850, which French scientist set out the 14 lattice structures that are used in the definition of crystalline arrangement? Bravo. Sorry? Brave. Nominate Braid. Brave. Brave is correct. Which of the Brave lattices has all three basis vectors of different lengths and aligned at three different non orthogonal angles to each other? Is that what triclinic means or is that the opposite? I don't know. It could be triclinic. Is that what you said? Yeah. Triclinic. Triclinic is correct. In the body centered cubic structure, 
commonly observed in metals. How many atoms are there in a unit cell of the crystal? No idea, do you? Three. Okay, three. No, it's two. Bad luck. Right, we're going to take another picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a writer. For ten points, please give me his name. Imperial Con. Uh, James Baldwin. It is James Baldwin. Well done. <laughs> he was one of the inaugural names on the LGBTQ Wall of Honor in New York, located at the first US national monument dedicated to LGBTQ rights and history. For your picture bonuses, I want you to identify three more of that first set of honorees. Firstly, another writer. I don't know who this is. Mm, neither. Pass. Yeah, just pass. That's Audrey Lord. Secondly, this activist and drag artist, a prominent figure of the 1969 Stonewall riots. The portrait here is by Warhol. Oh, God, I should... I, the only yeah. person I know from Stonewall is Masha P. Johnson. Yes. Masha P. Johnson. Marsha P. Johnson is correct, yes. Nice. And finally, this artist. Uh, who's this? Keith Herring. Um, I think it might be. Keith Herring. It is Keith Herring with one of his drawings behind. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What element is fifth in this sequence, given in descending order by atomic number? Argon, chlorine, sulphur, phosphorus and... <laughs> Warwick Brain. Aluminium. No. Imperial Con. Silicon. Silicon is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on Athens during the Peloponnesian War. All three answers begin with the same three letters. Demanding an end to the war with Sparta, Athenian women seize the Acropolis in which play by Aristophanes? This is Strata. This is Strata is correct. Which contemporary of Aristophanes is noted for speeches such as against Eratosthenes, denouncing one of the 30 tyrants of Athens. First three letters of the scene. L-Y-S, Lysander. 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 I don't know. Lysander. Yeah, it's Lysander. No, it's Lysias. In 450 BC, which Spartan commander won the final victory over Athens in the Peloponnesian War? Lysander. That was Lysander, yes. <laughs> Five minutes to go, ten points for this. In marine weather forecast, what term is used in contrast to veering to describe a wind direction that changes anti-clockwise for example, from west to southwest. Imperial Marrow. Keening. No, anyone want to buzz from Warwick? Warwick Route. Swirling. No, it's backing. Ten points for this. A town northeast of Smolensk is named after which Air Force officer killed in a training flight in 1968? Seven years earlier, he had piloted Vostok 1 in a pioneering. Warwick Pollard. Yuri Gagarin. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on American poetry. Which US city does Carl Sandburg describe as hog butcher for the world, tool maker, stacker of wheat, player with railroads, and the nation's freight handler? So I think this is Chicago, right? Yeah, Chicago. Chicago is correct. What rank or position of responsibility appears in the title of Walt Whitman's poem of 1865 that ends with the words... Fallen, cold, and dead. Captain, so my captain. Yeah, that would make sense. Yep. Captain. Captain is correct. Captain, oh my captain. What large perching bird is a title figure of the 1845 poem that ends with the line, shall be lifted nevermore? So the raven. Yeah. The raven. The raven is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> in what Canadian province would one make landfall after sailing due west from St Ives in Cornwall? Imperial Con. Newfoundland and Labrador. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on place names. A little larger than the Isle of Wight. Which island country is roughly midway between Hiroshima and Alice Springs in Central Australia? Um, so it's one island. Did it say one island? Yeah. Mm. So not uh, Philippines. Bonnie? No. That's not a country. Come on. Papua New Guinea? Yeah. No, it's Palau. About 1,800 kilometres west of Palau, Palawan is a long, narrow island in which country? I think that might be the Philippines. Sure. The Philippines? The Philippines is correct. 2,000 kilometres southwest of Palawan, Palambang, is the second largest city Indonesia. after Medan. Indonesia. Of which... No, you're wrong. It's Sumatra. Ten points for this. 
Answer as soon as your name is called. To the nearest full week, how long is one million seconds? Work bright. Two. It is to the nearest. Yes. It's 11.6 days, apparently. What a pointless thing to know. <laughs> <laughs> right, here are your bonuses. They're on the Mustelidae or Weasel family. Which novel of 1927 by Henry Williamson has a title character that belongs to a species within the Mustelid genus Lutra? Uh, otters. You said that would be Tark of the Otter. OK, nominate Braid. Tark of the Otter. Correct. Formerly hunted for its dark fur, which member of the weasel family gives its name to the heraldic tincture, representing the colour black? Um, ermine's not black. Um, sable. Sable is black, I think. Yeah. Sorry, Sable. Sable. Am, am I okay to nominate you? Yeah, sure. What's your surname? <laughs> nominate Barrel. Uh, Sable. Sable is correct, yes. <laughs> Found across Eurasia and North America, which mustelid is sometimes referred to as the short tailed weasel? Um, Beaver, me? Yeah. No. Come on. Would it be polecat? Or... Polecat. No, it's the stoat or ermine. Ten points for this. Yellow-juiced and long-headed are species of which red-flowering plant found in the wild in the UK? The common species has the binomial Papavo roeus. Warwick Rout. Strawberry. No, anyone want to buzz from Imperial? Imperial Marrow. Campion. No, it's the poppy. Ten points for this. What in 1860 was the first element to be discovered spectroscopically by the Germans... Warwick Braid. Helium. No, you lose five points. By the Germans Bunsen and Kirchhoff, it is the most reactive of all... Con. Um, uh, cesium. Cesium is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on opera. In each case, identify the opera from the characters who form a love triangle. Neda, her lover Silvio and her husband Canio, in an opera first performed in Milan in 1892. I need its Italian title. I don't know. I don't know. Do we not know? Uh, pass. That was Pagliacci. The noble Mascalini. <laughs> and that was on Imperial had 135, Warwick University had 160. But it was a very closely fought match, and somebody had to win, somebody had to lose, so that's how it goes. So congratulations, Warwick, and we shall, of course, see Warwick University in the final in a couple of weeks' time. I hope you can join us next time for the second semi-final, but until then, it's goodbye from Imperial College. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Warwick University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.